The time has come for me to take sandpaper to my iPhone leather case. So we're gonna talk about the process and the results today and see if it's actually worth it doing. It's something I've been toying around with doing for a while now. I had leather cases on my iPhone 11 Pro, 12 Pro, and now the 14 Pro. So it's been about three and a half years of having leather cases. I had my 12 for two years. And with each of those cases, the patina wasn't great. Well, Apple has this protective layer over their cases, so that way they don't patina as fast and they stay looking the way that they look when you buy them, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but a lot of people who buy these leather cases like to have them patina or change over time, and it takes forever. Like, by the time I was done with my iPhone 12 case after two years, it really barely patinaed on the back. The edges were patinaed, but the back of it was just okay. So, since I've already torn this case on the side, I figured that I might as well go ahead and sand it. So I actually picked up some 400 grit sandpaper from Home Depot. This is about seven bucks and was way more than what I needed. I ended up just cutting a small piece so I could go and sand the back of this case. Now I just did a light sanding all around because I used this case for about six months before I switched to my black leather case. So this case was already starting to patina anyway, but just a little bit on the back, but a lot more around the edges. So I just focused on the back mainly I did have some issues getting around the camera bump. I didn't want to sand it too much, so I just kind of sanded around it to kind of strip away some of that protective layer. And then the edges I really barely did because they already had a pretty good patina, except for the top edge because I don't really touch the phone there that often. So overall, it was a pretty simple process. I didn't put any kind of oil or anything on it. I know some people put coconut oil or something like that on it or leather balm to kind of speed up the process. I just decided to do it naturally. So that was about a week ago when I sanded it and here is how it looks today. So even after a week, it has made a lot more progress than the prior six months that I had this case. Now this is already dinged up and scratched up because I have used it so much, but I think it has a little bit of character to it. I really like the way that it turned out. I would say if you want a good patina on one of these leather cases, it's definitely worth sanding it. Now, if you don't care about that, then of course, there's no reason to really do this process. But yeah, I feel kind of stupid now for not doing this with any of my previous cases, especially with the way this one's turning out. It's already a lot darker than it was a week ago after I sanded it. I'm gonna do it the natural way now. I'm just gonna keep using it and let it get darker on its own. And then I'll report back to see where we are maybe in a few months. But yeah, definitely worth it. Some $7 sandpaper. This should be enough for the next 10 iPhones, honestly. I'm definitely gonna be doing this on my future cases whenever I get them. I'm just gonna go ahead and sand them right away. But I'm excited to see this continue to patina and I'm excited to see how it turns out. I definitely recommend doing the sanding part if you are worried about the patina on one of these leather cases because it really helps move the process along a lot faster. But that's gonna do it for today. I will report back in a few months and let you guys know how it's going. But so far, I'm very happy with it looking pretty good in my opinion. Let me know what you think below in the comments and let me know if you tried sanding your iPhone leather case. You have a good one. Peace out.